News 4 Jax is learning more about what the future may hold now for the site of the old River City Brewing Company on the South Bank. As we told you last night, a plan for new apartments and a restaurant has hit a snag, even though the once landmark restaurant has been demolished. It is prompting some critics to grumble that Jacksonville is at it again, tearing things down without having a plan of putting something new up. But as News 4 Jax reporter Jim Pickett shows us, this project is different. You may not recognize this spot, but it used to be one of the most popular areas along the river. This is where River City Brewing sat. Also, Harbor Masters, even Diamond Head. Now, of course, that's been torn down. They were planning to build new apartments here, and they still are, except there's been a delay. Here's what's happening. Walking along the South Bank, well, it's not like it used to be. We walked as far as you can go, and there's nothing. I mean, there's condos and... A couple of restaurants, two big buildings were empty. Mm -hmm. There's just nothing to come down here and do, really. It was last July when the new owner of the property, not the city, tore down the River City Brewing Company restaurant. The plan was to replace it with new apartments and a restaurant. The city had worked out an incentive plan with the developer, tax breaks. But due to the economy and construction costs, the developer, related group, could not meet construction deadlines. That prompted the head of the Jacksonville Downtown Investment Authority, Lori Boyer, to write this letter telling the developer that the deal is off for now. But Boyer says hopefully that won't be for long. The reality is that we're expecting a new proposal for them. We're expecting a new development proposal. Um, probably even fits a little better with our original plan for the site than what had been approved. Next to the site is Friendship Fountain. It's been undergoing repairs for a couple of years. Recent testing shows it's ready to go again. Boyer says this delay won't affect plans for the park near the fountain, and we should see that all come online this spring. Many say this looks like the old Jacksonville landing site, and they wonder why the restaurant was torn down and nothing is going up in its place. So that was a private property owner deciding to demolish a building to facilitate their own redevelopment of the site. It was not a city action. So it's not like this, like what we saw with the landing? No, and other very, very different than that. You know, I did talk to the developer, or at least the spokesperson for the developer late this afternoon, and they said they are ready to submit a new plan within the near future. And talking to Lori Boyer, she believes that we could see construction and everything down here by uh, 2026 when everything downtown is supposed to be done at that point. And I do want to point out one other thing. The delay of this right now is actually good news for the Friendship Fountain and the park around here because it will allow the city now to go ahead with that park plan and to build it out and not be delayed by the construction that would have been going on at that point. So we'll see what happens come late spring. For now, we're live on the South Bank. Jim Pigott, Channel 4, The Local Station.